Can I record? Apparently I can. So because of whatever reason, I have had issues with, um, with, with, with Twitch. So I normally stream everything because of, um, well, because of data reasons, to be honest, um, the quality doesn't suffer that much. And, and I do not have to deal with all the data laying around. And when I'm downloading the things from Twitch, they're not that big. So, um, you know, back in the days I've had files of, you know, two gigabyte each fucking video, four gigabyte, you know, always just really depends on the settings. And it really isn't nice. You know, it, it, it really is not. Um, definitely not nice to to handle, not nice to, to work with. Um, but I'm, I'm having an issue with Twitch and so I cannot access the, the, the stream that I've streamed uh, today and therefore I'm sitting here and um, I'm just talking now again. So, um, hello and welcome back to another episode. Uh, we're going to probably talk about philosophy. Um, I do want to see if there's a philosophy subreddit. Reddit. Let me have a look. Philosophy Reddit. I mean, there is something. So let's check that out really quickly. It's not going to be a long one today, therefore, because I mean, I mean, uh, no, that's definitely not what I want to have. And this is, there we go. Everything is fine. And then there is a promotion for Call of Duty. Nice. Amazing. That's definitely what I want to have <laughs> on a fucking philosophy subreddit. How mortality changes in a foreign language. Fascinating ethical shifts come with thinking in a different language. That sounds interesting. From Scientific America. Dot com. Ah. I'm sorry. Um, it is an article from 2016, actually, and um, we're going to have a look. What defines who we are? Our habits, our aesthetic tastes, our memories. If pressed, I would answer that if there is any part of me that sits at my core that is an essential part of me, who I am, then surely it must be my moral center, my deep-seated sense of right and wrong. And yet, like many other people who speak more than one language, I often have the sense that I am a slightly different person in each of my languages. More assertive in English, more relaxed in French, more sentimental in Czech. This, it's possible that along with these differences, my moral compass also points in some different directions, depending on the language I'm using at the time. Psychologists who study moral judgments have become very interested in this question. Several recent studies have focused on how people think about ethics in a non-native language, as might take place, for example, among groups of delegates at the United Nations using a lingua franca that hash out a resolution. The findings suggest that when people are confronted with moral dilemmas, they do indeed respond differently when considering them in a foreign language than when using their native tongue. In 2014, a paper led by Albert Costa, volunteers were presented with a moral dilemma known as the trolley problem. Imagine that a run, runaway trolley is carrying toward a group of five people sitting on the tracks, unable to move. You're next to a switch that can shift the trolley to a different set of tracks, thereby sparing the five people, but resulting in the death of one who is standing on the side tracks. Do you pull the switch? Most people agree that they would, but if the only way to stop the trolley is by pushing a larger stranger, pushing a, a large stranger off a footbridge into its uh, into its path, people tend to be very reluctant to say they would do this, even though in both scenarios one person is sacrificed to save five. But Costa and his colleagues found that posing the dilemma in a language that volunteers had learned as a foreign tongue dramatically increases their stated willingness to shove the sacrificial I'm sorry sacrificial language 
I'm sorry, person of the footbridge from fewer than 20% of respondents working in their native language to about 50% of those using the for eigen one. Both native Spanish and English speakers were included, with English and Spanish as the respective foreign language. The results were the same for both groups, showing that the effect was about using a foreign language and not about which particular language English or Spanish was used. Using a very different experimental setup, Janet Giepel, Gapel and her colleagues also found that using a foreign language shifted their participants' more verdicts, moral verdicts. In their study, volunteers read descriptions of acts that appeared to, to harm no one, but that many people find morally reprehensible, for example, stories in, in which siblings enjoyed um, entirely consensual and safe sex, or someone cooked and ate his dog after it had been killed by a car. Those who read the stories in a foreign language, either English or Italian, judged, judged these actions to be less wrong than those who read them in their native tongue. So why does it matter whether we judge morality in our native language or foreign one? According to one explanation, such judgments is evolve two separate and competing modes of thinking. One of these, a quick gut, gut level feeling, and the other, careful deliberation about the greatest good for the greatest number. When we use a foreign language, we unconsciously sink into the more deliberate more mode simply because the effort of operating in our non-native language cues are our cognitive system, cognitive system to prepare for strenuous activity. This may seem paradoxical, but it is line, but it is in line with findings that reading mouth problems in a hard to read font makes people less likely to make careless mistakes. Although these results have proven difficult to replicate, which is really interesting, and I also um, have seen that um, you know throughout the years that for me English makes me kind of a different person I th I guess I think about things differently and um, I don't do not necessarily want to say it in a negative nor positive way or whatever or just I'm seeing I'm just you know seeing a difference and I'm noticing a difference and uh, is is quite good to see that this is like just the general thing and it is a very interesting phenomenon um, but I don't know like um, of course I'm having a mother tongue and um, I'm just having one additional language which is English is there something else I can a bit of Italian but very very bad um It's just something else. Yeah, I know a few things here and there and whatever. But, um, but it is interesting to see that uh, on one hand, on the other hand, um, I think... What do I want to say? Fuck. <laughs> um, I don't know. You, you know, you, you might be able to utilize that. I'm just thinking of therapy, if this is, is useful then. But also... Um, when I've been living in in a country, and um, when I'm living in a country, a foreign one, and I have learned that language, and I've been speaking that language for quite some time, you know, is it then still like a foreign language? You know, does it still matter then? Does it still just make a difference? Is it still like effort for me, like strenuous to just you know uh, speak the other language, but also um, just you know think in in the same way as in my mother tongue like you know where is the line between this is my 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 you know this is strenuous and this isn't and or this i've you know just been speaking this language for such a long time that it is not um you know not not that difficult anymore and it's just like you know me talking i don't know german in my case but yeah Interesting, interesting, but with that being said, I'm going to end the episode there and hopefully see you soon. So bye-bye.